guys, Gabriel Storm with Rowan Angel here, and welcome to the beautiful world of Ark. Now, uh, today I'm going to be showing you a quick, t uh, quick tutorial, no I'm not. I'm going to be showing you a quick tour of our base. I'm going to give you a bit of a background on the server that I'm on. Um, so, without any further ado, let's hop right into it. So, our journey all starts here at the... We're in North, the North, not North, but a North, a part in the North. And, um... This is one of our tribe members, very big um, uh, projects that he's been doing. Experiments. I'm all over the shop today. It's late. I don't usually record this late, but YOLO. So, I say it's a big experiment. You'll see why in a second. So, um, oh fuck, what's going on? Ladders. Uh, there we go, okay. So, I'm done in the um, flak armor. And I am uh, wearing our tribe's colours, which are black and purple, which looks pretty fucking kick-ass. So we got an archway here, and uh, this is basically to make sure that we uh, get across um, a bit easier. Uh, we have some a dolphin down there, which you can see. And yeah, this is the experiment he's been working on. He's been working on a very long uh, stone bridge. It took a while for him to make this, as well as the base that he made. But... Um, yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna check out. Oh, it's raining. How lovely. We're gonna check out the base that uh, we're on in a second. Um, so basically, we're called the Merchant's Guild, and um, we're a PVE tribe. In fact, I think we're the only PVE tribe on this PVP server. So uh, yeah, we and because of the name Merchant's Guild as well, we tend to get raided quite uh, a fair amount. But uh, yeah. Here we have a few of our dinos. Well, actually, um, these are some of OJ's uh, dinos. Uh, OJ and uh, Tiny, who's uh, no longer on the server anymore. But uh, we have Steve, who's our stego, and we have OJ's guards here. Um, oh, bit of lag there. I turned my graphics up just for this video, guys. I hope you appreciate how much my PC is struggling right now. <laughs> okay, and up there in the distance, you uh, can see a faint... Uh, big ass dino gate, which is uh, part of our base. That is uh, what we will be giving you the guided tour on. So originally, I had a house here. Um, a few people moved in, uh, and our neighbours basically formed one tribe. Um, hence the beginning of the Merchants Guild. And. Here we are guys, this is it, this is the Merchants Guild HQ, right next to the uh, neutral zone. So I'm going to give you a quick guided tour. Uh, our defences uh, are pretty much up to standard now. We can keep um, you know, small raiders away, no problem. And here are the reason why, we have uh, patrol guards out and about. We have steel walls as well for people who are attacking us on foot. <coughs> so here we have a saber. Uh, we have anything from sabers, raptors, stylos uh, on patrol duty. All on aggro. Um, we have a rule on the server no killing passives but that rule tends to be ignored quite a fair bit. So um, you know we're taking matters into our own hands. We're, uh, is Medusa stuck in the wall again? Fuck's sake I think she is. Medusa! She's stuck in the fucking... I literally just uh, got her out of the dam. Uh, she, our raptors tend to wander outside the pen. So, another reason why you should avoid our base at all costs. Because our dinos aren't on a leash. And they will tend to wander outside the boundaries of our pen. Our little den here. So the way we all started was as neighbours as I mentioned and we all had our own individual houses set up. We had Toxic uh, uh, whose house was set up by here. I was set up uh, in this big pen over here. That's not a house by the way, that's uh, one of my new uh, one of my big projects I've been working on. Which has come together spectacularly, I might add. But I had a house uh, just uh, in front of where that, uh, just behind where that uh, smaller gate is. Which is now a uh, our herbivore pen, and we ended up just like you know making a big um, 
a wall around our base, which took ages, and it's still not done, I might add. We're trying to make it, uh, you know, free high. We got uh, a farm here, which uh, we, we need to work on because uh, it's not got any taps on it. So water is not, uh, like, um, coming through and uh, watering our plants. So I'll show off a herbivore pit, because uh, uh, that's uh, where... Um, that's like one of our newest features. I probably spent, spelled herbivores wrong, but YOLO. Pretty sure that's the second time I said YOLO uh, today. Let me just uh, move. Name your tamed trike. It's already got a name. I want him to move. There we go. Okay, so here we are. We've got a few of our herbivores here. These are mainly uh, on berry collected duties, especially with trike. Um, these are just uh, here. Well, we discovered that if you feed, um, you know, what, it's better if I just give you a visual demonstration on uh, uh, this this one here. <coughs> oh, because I can't because we don't have any. But uh, the white berries, if you constantly feed them, like remote use on a, a dino, they will literally constantly keep shit in. Which is great for like uh, your crops and stuff, uh, you know, for fertilizer. But yeah, that's the herbivore pit. Uh, my house is literally by here. But I tore it down for resources for my uh, pride and joy, which is by here now. And it's got that glitch where I can't close the door. Bollocks. It happens. So this is um, I, uh, this whole pen was mine because um, you know I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for all of my dinos to like roam around in and. You know, like a, like we're doing on the outside, keeping them on aggro to pr uh, protect my house. Um, but you know, I closed it off uh, for this, which is our recruitment house, because we didn't want individual houses all over the base. That would have been a nightmare for us. So all the new recruits are now, and myself now are sleeping in here, which is our recruitment uh, lodge. We have a bunch of storage downstairs, but this is where the beds tend to go. You can see uh, a bunch of our tribesmen scattered around here. Painted uh, the um, steel floor as well, because you know it looks pretty kick-ass like that. I'm sorry as well if I sounded a bit weird. My throat is really dry. I should have had like a drink uh, next to me or something. But uh, yeah, this is our uh, uh, crafting floor. We've literally got pretty much everything we could possibly need for making stuff up here, um, which is amazing. We have a generator. Another bit of defense here, because like I said, we do tend to get raided a lot because of our name. Having said that, we are probably the poorest damn um, tribe on the server right now. Um, we do alright for ourselves, but you know, the constant raids uh, tend to be a pain in the ass. Um, more storage back here. And out here we have what's going to be a second turret co coming out here. And our uh, reservoir here. <coughs> Excuse me, really dry throat. Can't help it. So, um, that's that one done. Is it all? Let me shut this. Nope, there you go. It would have been a very bad inconvenience for me not, uh, not being able to shut any of the doors. Um, because we are quite paranoid as a tribe. Uh, with good reason, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so, um, here's where we keep our, uh, birds. And scorpion, apparently. Don't ask. <laughs> um, we have a gate here for them to fly in. This isn't finished just yet. Uh, we're going to put a roof on this um, so that they can fly through. We also have our tribe colors here, which looks amazing. I didn't do that, but uh, someone else did, which I think looks amazing. So fair play to my tribe mid, uh, men for helping us out on that. Uh, we're going to show you the pride and joys of our little collection. And I'm going to take a shortcut because, you know, you know what, I'm not going to say a, f a third or fourth time or whatever the hell it is, but you know what I'm about to say. Uh, so, shortcut. I'm not going to say it. And here is our main pen. And I'm going to tell you a bit of a backstory about my Pride and Joy. We have a lot of Pride and Joys, but my Pride and Joy in particular is this guy back here. And a little backstory about uh, Hades. Uh, 
who is looking mighty damn fine. Uh, basically, he was our first T-Rex that we caught. So, you know, um, our first uh, main dino. <coughs> and what happened was um, we ran out of trank arrows. I'm going to go into a bit of a detailed smite um, reference right now. If you ca if you have some form of escape from a Hades ult, um, beads, a leap, a dash, whatever, then you're safe. You're fine. Uh, but in order to, if you don't have any forms of escape, the only way you can really take down a Hades in smite is uh, basically by making sure that you kill him uh, while he's ulting so that you may survive. Which was uh, the story with me and Hades. It was me and one other tribe's me uh, member, Sir James, and what happened was we ran out of track arrows. Me, from my past experience, still new at the game, discovered that you can uh, tame a dino by knocking him out by punching him. You can see where I'm going with this. So we ran out of track arrows, he was about to uh, kill a uh, tribe me uh, man member who I believe still had a few track arrows on him, but you know, he was being attacked by said Hades. I ran up to this fucking big beast spire and basically got into a fist fight with Hades. And in all fairness, I think I did pretty damn well considering he's a big fucking dinosaur. I'm a man who was wearing high arm at the time and bare knuckling him. So <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Here's the tribe's pride and joy, Ragnarok. You might notice my names as well. I've named all of my dinosaurs after my characters, apart from Anubis, who isn't mine. Uh, who is the other T-Rex that we got? Ragnarok uh, wasn't one of mine either, but someone basically uh, stole my idea by uh, naming them after mythology stuff. So, Ragnarok, who's our Spino, who is a beast at level 157. We got Roxas here, who's a lower level Spino. But he's been uh, here quite a, for quite a while. Uh, we've got our birds as well. We had a bit of an incident where our birds got uh, shot out of the sky by a very salty, a very, very, very salty tribe. And you can deny all all they want, but they were extremely salty. I'm not going to get into it. Cheated was accused and uh, ban hammers were initiated, but <coughs> yeah. No need to go in, into any more detail than that. Here's Toxic's building, but yeah, uh, Toxic's uh, pen. He hasn't been on in a while, he's our leader. Um, we have our notice boards here, which I set up uh, of uh, to do lists, uh, which we've actually done fairly good. We've, uh, b d uh, we've accomplished a hell of a lot in uh, a s quite a short period of time in setting up the. Um, you know, the base recruiting the members, you know, again, these dinos here tamed on the outside. Loki and, uh, well, Loki, we, I had to uh, rename Medusa. But Loki, I thought, uh, died in, like, uh, the last uh, raid that we had. Turns out he um, somehow ch got uh, chased um, an enemy all the way on the outside. We ended up finding him uh, later on, which is awesome, because he was, as you can see, he's quite a high-level raptor. Um, but yeah, this has been a, uh, a tour of uh, our base uh, from the Merchant's Guild. I'm going to give you a bit of a bird's eye view on... what's this one? Aquila? I've never been very good at flying these fins because I, I keep f falling off the damn fins. But yeah, uh, here it is guys, the Merchant's Guild HQ from a bird's eye view. And look at that majestic shadow down there. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, I've been Rowan Angel Gabriel Storm. Thank you for watching my first ever ARC video. Uh, these feds are quite popular because so, uh, it's a very popular game. <coughs> Don't forget to leave me a like, comment and subscribe. I really much appreciate it. I'm nearly closing in on that 100 subscribers goal. I'm like 11 subscribers away. So the more you share, the more you help me out. Which is going to you know, make me feel extremely happy. And uh, much loves and kisses for you. You know, only if you want to, you know, notice me senpai. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time for possibly more ARK. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more ARK, uh, or any other games that you'd like to suggest. You know, I'm more than happy to try them out. And if they're good, I'll make post a video and give you a shout out as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!